So the first thing for base, I'm going to use Shark Skin by MAC. I saw this laying around. I haven't used it in so long. I felt bad. It probably like dried up by now too. So that's what it looks like. And oh man, this this is dried up. Uh, uh, if it's dried up, for me this can never warm up. Even you know people say to do that, but it just doesn't cut it for me. I just have to put it on my finger and pat it on goes on a lot smoother and I'm going to put this past my crease I'm going to put some on the bottom underneath the waterline also I do have a little makeup from earlier today but it's okay and my hair is getting unworn out of the way now for my main eyeshadow I'll be using Love Junkies Forbidden from Heartbreaker Cosmetics. I was playing with this last night and I was like, man, I love it on black. It looks a lot prettier on black than like a white lighter colored base. Either way it pops up, but I wanted to make it a smoky eye. So I'll have it on this brush and I'm just going to pat this on. pretty and it's bright and this brush is from elf three dollars if you've seen my elf review yeah i love it it's called a sea brush and i'm just putting this right over where i put the shark skin and then i'm going to add some on the bottom whatever's left over on the brush now for my highlight, I'll be using Clinique's Daybreak. If I can open this. Right. It's, it's just a light, shimmery champagne color. It's like pretty much my standard highlight. I use this a lot. And I don't know what that sounded like because that's not really an accent. It's Indian plus British. you guys, I know, I have like the biggest forehead ever. Mm. hate it. <laughs> A Sony Kashuk crease brush. I think it is. Lancome the new black. Sparkly black. Putting it at the edge. Then into the crease. I'm going to concentrate right on the corner. I don't want it too black, but carbon would be nice if you had that. That's like really, really black. Yeah, I still don't have it. And I don't know when I'm going to get it. I haven't bought a MAC eyeshadow in like over a year. The last thing I got was like a liquid last eyeliner from MAC. It's just that I'm finding all these other brands that have really good makeup too, you know, like I don't have to stick to MAC. Shoot. Like look how pretty the color from Heartbreaker is. It's really pretty. Then for the inner corner of my eyes, it's the last eyeshadow. Going oh that's the lid. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to use Helium Pigment from MAC. It's like a... shines different colors. It's like a light pink. I don't know. I haven't used this color in a really long time. So I was like, what the hell? Why not slap that on too? Now, the most important part. Blending. I'm taking Sonia Kashuk Blending Brush. Actually, I don't know if this is even called a blending brush. It might be called something else. Well, it's my blending brush. I'm just smoking it out. It's 
smoking out the black. Just go back and forth like there's a rainbow on your eye and you're coloring it in. I don't know. Or windshield wiper, whatever you want to call it. Same shit. Okay, I'm done with my look. I put on eyeliner from Lord and Berry in in the black. Then I put Revlon falsies on. I've never tried Revlon falsies. I think they're actually really good. They're a little bit more on the expensive stuff. They're, they're like five dollars for one, but they're really nice. I think these are like the best falsies I've used. <laughs> okay. So for my blush, I used, of course, my current favorite, Cargo Rome. It's like a nice orangey, peachy color. Um, when in doubt, try to match your blush color to your lip color in the same family. Because if you have, like, pink blush and then you have red lips or brown shade lips, like, that kind of stuff doesn't go. So when in doubt, you know, stick to the same color family for the cheeks and the lips and I'm going to use this is not what I want to use God damn. I'm going to use Ravishing by MAC it's like a bright corally color just like my blush so the the base is like a coral color and I'm going to put Angel on top of it. Angel. To make it like a little bit paler. And I don't really want to add gloss to it. And my lip color matches my earrings. Um, these earrings are from Forever 21. I got them a really long time ago when my our first Forever 21 opened. We only still have one, but it was when it first opened. So yeah, that's my final look. Green from Heartbreaker Cosmetics. It's the main green color. I hope you like it. I hope you can see it because it's kind of dark outside. It took me so long to put on my damn lashes. Like, it got dark outside. So I hope you enjoyed this look. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.